Hey everybody, it's Tom Woods, February 28th, 2012. I am trying to get to the bottom of why so many people are voting for candidates other than Ron Paul, when it seems pretty obvious that only Ron Paul is actually going to do anything. Uh, Santorum's not going to cut the budget. I think that's a pretty safe bet. Uh, same with Romney. Gingrich, his contract with America from 1994 was just a trivial uh, nibbling around the edges, so we're not going to see anything from him. So why are people supporting them and not supporting Ron Paul? Well, you know from a lot of my other videos, I'm not a, a, the name-calling type. I don't make fun of people. I just stick to the facts and try to be as charitable as I can. Yet, I'm, I have to admit, I'm getting a little bit impatient. So in this video, we're going through quickly a bunch of points that are what Ron Paul non-voters are basically saying, whether they realize it or not. Point number one, I don't trust the media except when it tells me not to vote for Ron Paul. I don't trust a word these people say, but when they tell me, steer clear of this man, citizen, beware, he's out of the so-called mainstream, ooh, then I will listen. I also like the American political establishment. They've done such wonders for our country. Why would I ever want to vote for an anti-establishment candidate? I don't care about spending cuts. Spending is just where it needs to be. So I don't need to vote for a candidate that's given me a list of a trillion dollars in specific spending cuts. I think it's okay for people not to give me any specifics. Maybe give a speech or two, but that's good enough. I want somebody who's going to flatter me, who's going to say things that he thinks I want to hear, instead of having the courage to be booed on live television, if that's what it takes to convey unpopular truths to me. Big spending is A-OK, -okay, as I already said. So why would I care that my candidate supported adding trillions of dollars to the unfunded liabilities of this country by supporting Medicare Part D during the Bush years? Bailouts. Bailouts are A-OK. -okay. TARP was fine. So what that the whole general public was dead set against them? And so what that the calls were running 50 to 1 against, 100 to 1 against, 200 to 1 against, and the establishment ganged up on us and rammed it down our throats anyway? That was good for them to do. I haven't been exploited enough by these people. Keep exploiting me. How about the financial crisis? Ron Paul predicted the financial crisis to a T in 2001. He said exactly what was going to happen and why. I think it's much better to vote for somebody who was totally clueless about the coming financial crisis, because it'll be more of a challenge for that person, totally clueless, to figure out how to get out of a crisis he didn't even see coming. Federal government education funding. I'm all in favor of it, even though I can't find any authorization for it in the Constitution. I favor federal education funding. That's why I support candidates like Romney and Santorum and Gingrich who favor increases in funding for the Federal Department of Education and who supported the No Child Left Behind Act. Taxes! Taxes are fine! There's no problem with taxes. In fact, maybe I'd like to see my taxes raised. Why would I want to support the one candidate, Ron Paul, who's never voted for a tax increase? Next one. I think it's perfectly conservative to support limited government, but also believe that the U.S. military can bring the Enlightenment to Afghanistan through military force. That's conservative. The Federal Reserve, who cares about that? Sure, the Federal Reserve fueled the financial crisis by keeping interest rates so low for so long, but I'd rather just vote for a candidate who isn't really interested in the Federal Reserve. Foreign policy, I can't imagine any improvement on the fiasco of a foreign policy we've got. I think it was a great idea to depose the secular Saddam Hussein and in his place have a regime now in Iraq that has a constitution that says that all laws shall be made in accordance with the Koran and that also involves a Shiite regime that's friendly with Iran. Can't see any way to improve on that. Anybody who opposes that foreign policy must be some kind of left liberal. Even though the left liberals like Hillary Clinton and Howard Stern and the New York Times and the Washington Post all supported the Iraq war, so I'm not really sure what it is I'm saying. 
And then with regard to the war in Iraq, even though that was, we now know, based on propaganda, and the result has been hundreds of thousands of deaths, four million people displaced, tens of thousands of U.S. military casualties, and many, many severe injuries, an epidemic of suicide throughout the military, the destruction of the U.S. reputation around the world, trillions of dollars down the drain, instability everywhere, fundamentalism encouraged. I see no reason to be skeptical when the same people who sold me this boondoggle and bill of goods is now trying to sell me on another war as my country is going bankrupt. And finally, I like to be talked to like this. You Americans are the awesomest of the awesome, and the only reason anybody in the world might be unhappy with your government is because of your sheer awesomeness. Now check out my page on Ron Paul where I've put all my resources that I've done, all the stuff I've done, defending all his positions, persuading people on all the hard cases over at tomwoods.com slash ronpaul2012. And while you're there, make sure and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tom Woods TV, and we'll see you next time.